Hello, my name is Ardi, and here we will solve this problem. The question is find V0 in the circuit in figure 2.86 and the power absorbed by the dependent source. So we will have to find out what V0 is. Okay, so here is our target. And then the second one will be the power absorbed by this dependent current source. Okay, so the power by the 2V0. So we are looking for these two values here. And I think we will use the Kirchhoff current law or KCL. But first, let's do some information extraction that we can get from this circuit here. Okay, let's set this node here as our ground or reference node so this is our ground or some other books call it reference node and what does that means that means that the voltage here in this node is zero so the voltage here will be zero and then we have one essential nodes right we have one essential nodes this is an essential node actually there is one non-essential nodes here but we will do it later but let's name this node here as node A. But then the voltage here will be VA, right? And then we can assume the direction of the current. So the step to do circuit analysis is the first one will be uh, label all the nodes. And then the second one will be assume the direction of the current. Assume the current's direction. And now let's do the second step here. For the branch with the current source, I just follow the arrow here, the direction of the arrow. So this will going up and this also going up here good and then this will goes to the left and this one will goes down right because it will continues to the left here okay we have one more non-essential nodes but that is important because we need p0 here so here i will name this node as node b so the voltage here will be vb but then we can take a note here that V0 is the difference between this note and that note, right? The positive one is here, so Vb. And then the negative one will be here, so I will have minus Va. And that will equal to V0. Okay. And I think that's good. Now what can we do? Let's do step number three, do KCL. Do KCL for each node. Okay, the first one will be KCL at node VA. Let's do that, KCL at node VA. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, let's see here, at VA here, there are two currents that goes in, which is this one and then this one. Let's work on this one first. We will have, this one is 25. And then we will have plus, we will have this 2V0 here. 2V0, and I think that's all the current that goes into VA. And that will equal to Okay, we'll have the current that goes out, which is this one, and then this one here, right? And so we will have this current, but we need to calculate it by Ohm's law. The current comes from this node here, so we will have Pa, and then the current goes eventually to the ground here, right? And the ground, the voltage will be zero. So I will have Va minus zero. But this is voltage, we need current. So we need to divide the resistance between 
them. The resistance between them is 10 ohm and 10 ohm in series. So we will have 10 and then plus 10. Good. Now let's do some simplification. We will have 25 plus 2 P0, but then P0 is PB minus PA. So we have PB minus PA. And this one will be PA because PA minus 0 is just PA. Then divide it by 20. Good. Now we need to multiply both sides here by 20. So I want to get rid of this denominator. So it will cancel out. 25 multiplied by 20 will be 500. And then 2 multiplied by 20, that will be 40. And this one will be VB. And then minus VA. And on the right side, we will have VA. Good. Now let's simplify things. So we'll have 500 plus 40 VB. Minus 40 VA. And then that will equal to PA. But then we can isolate 500. So we will have 41 PA. 41 PA. And then minus 40 VB. And that will equal to 500. Good. And I think nothing that we can do from here. Let's save this as equation number one good now what can we do from here we have two variables here so we need one more equation so what can we do is to do another kcl but this time at pb let's do exactly that let's do kcl at pb again kcl said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out right the only current that goes in is this one but that current is pa where the current comes from and then minus pb where the current goes to divided by 10 and then that will equal to this current here the only current that goes out and the current comes from pb so we'll have VB here and the current goes to the ground. In the ground, the voltage will be zero. And then the resistance between them is 10. Okay, 10 and 10 will cancel each other. So we will have here that PA is equal to 2 PB. Okay. Uh... Let's have this as equation number two. Okay, now we have two equation and two variable. We should be able to solve this, right? By substitution. Okay, maybe let's clean up the slide and let's solve it. Okay, let's do step number four, which is solve the equation. Or we will solve the equation. Okay, we have two equation from our KCL at node PA and node PB. This is the equation. Equation number one is this one. And equation number two is this one. Okay, let's see what we can we get from equation number one. I will rewrite this one. 41 PA. And then I will factor out 20. Why? Because we have two PB here. So we'll have two PB here. And that will equal to 500, right? Why I factor it to 2 VB? Because we know that 2 VB is VA. So I will have 41 VA minus 20 is equal to VA. Therefore, that will be 500. 41 minus 20 is 21 VA. And that will equal to 500. And now we will have PA is equal to 500 divided by 21. And I think that is the task of our calculator. 
So, we'll have 23.81. So, I'll have 23.81. And the unit will be in volt. But then from VA, we can get VB. What is VB? VB is 2, 1 half of VA, right? Because VA is 2 VB. So, we will have from equation number 2, 2 VB is VA. So, we will have 23 point 81 so we will have pb here is equal to 23 point 81 divided by 2 so we'll have 11.905 or 11.91 and the unit here is 4 good so now we have Two important values which is VA here and then VB and what does the question ask us we need to find out V0 so the last step will be answer the question answer the question okay we need to find out V0 here so we will have V0 V0 is the positive one is here, so we'll have VB. And then the negative one is this, this one here, right? So I will have VA here. So we will have VB is 11.91 and then minus 23.81. So we will have our V0 is equal to, what is it? 11.91 minus 23.81 and we will have minus 11.9 okay 11.9 and the unit will be 4 and that is V0 good but that is not only the not only the question that asks, we have to find out the power absorbed by the source. But I have a full, a full slide here, so let's clean up first. Okay, now let's see the last question, which is the power absorbed by the dependent current source. Right? So we will have P of 2 V0. What is the power? The power is voltage multiplied by the current. However, because this is no, no, this is going up here and we will have the voltage like this and here the voltage here because this is ground and this is VA so the voltage here will be VA right because this one here is VA this one look at that and then this one here is the ground node so the voltage is VA minus zero so we'll have VA there so this was VA and then what is the current so we'll have VA multiplied by the current the magnitude is this one here so I will have 2 V0 okay now we can calculate that because we have our VA here and also we have our V0 here right so we will have what is our VA 23.81 and then multiplied by 2 then multiplied by V0 V0 is this one so I will have minus 11.90 good so this is the task of our calculator so I will have 23.81 multiplied by 2 and then multiplied by minus 11.90 and I will have minus 588 minus 588 and then 0.68 and the unit here will be what right because all of them are in SI unit we have ampere ohm and also in volt so we will have here in what so the power absorbed, that is the sign here, so that is minus, is this one here. 
and i think that's all for this problem thank you for watching see you in the next video bye bye